before we begin, quick shout out to uh, Caden Jones who gave us this request to cover a goal or no goal. Uh, thank you, and just a reminder, always to send us in requests because we have so much time on our hands to do them. <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Carter Nolan is behind the camera. Exhausted. Exhausted. It is early in the morning. Uh, we're going to get this out, and it'll probably drop at 11, right? Yeah? yeah probably, probably. Yeah, there you go. So, Washington is playing Colorado. Now, Colorado is going to win this game 3-2, um, but it doesn't really matter because both teams are in the playoffs, like, safely in the playoffs. But you know, it was a it was a play that uh, got recommended to me by Caden Jones, a viewer, a Caps fan, by the way. Uh, but yeah, so Arturi Lekanen is in front of the net. I believe it's Ilya Simsonov in net. Uh, there's a chance where the puck goes to the front. Arturi Lekanen shoots. It's stopped by Samsonov. The rebound is loose, and Sam and there's a bit of a puck battle for it. Now, Abs think they score here. And the official goes and calls it a goal. So now you need to find conclusive evidence for goaltender interference if you want to overturn it. Um, now, notice it's very telling here as well. Carlson immediately is like, this can't be a goal. And all three, all four capitals here are actually looking at the ref, looking for to see how he determines the play. So here it is, play in front of the net. Um... I can't say that the defender is doing anything wrong, so if this is going to be goaltender interference, it isn't going to be one of those plays where the guy pushed him into his goalie. This is a perfect play. You can see already how his arm is tucked like this so that he tries to force him out. Now, from this angle, it looks like Arturi Lekkinen is pushing on the pad, but this is the best angle. So... Now, the original footage is not going to be the most helpful because it has the Colorado announcers. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. No offense to it, but never listen when it is the, 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 in the team that is scoring announcers. It doesn't help. Like, honestly, I'd rather you... It's probably smart to play it on mute because then you don't get any biases getting told to you by said announcers, because they said, because they say it's just sh pushing on the puck. Here's the thing. I believe there is pushing on the puck. However, it's hard to deny that I think what's happening here is, Carter, can I have that? Right there. Right there. That stick. Little mini stick. Yes, this will help prove my point. Here's the pad. Here's the stick. I think it is pushing the puck forward, but also I think it's getting under the blade. The blade's getting under the pad and pushing it a little with it. So if we keep moving here, this is the most damning. You see, the puck goes in, but also, too, the puck kind of slides in because the puck is, like, almost under the the blade of the puck, a blade of the uh, stick. But the puck, the pad itself is getting pushed into the net by the player. Well, and here's some of the rule. The one rule, though, that makes this tough is loose puck battles. So, loose puck is... This would be a loose puck. This can't be blown dead and be called... Like, it, it's not a very clear one where the goalie has it under his pad or covered up where you could say, well, yeah, he has possession. Now, Ilya Samsonov does not have deemed possession. However, Ilya Samsonov also has a right to have his pad on the ground where it is, where it lies. Because, and, and people will be like, but it's not covered, so how can he not, like, have to move? Well, you don't have to move out of the way just because, you like, you could just stay in front of it and the guy has to put it over you. You can't go through you. This has been reviewed quite often. Um, now, granted, the NHL has actually been consistent with this calling and has ruled the some of these goals. But, like, honestly, I would just put this in the no-goal category because, like, th this is the most damning one right here. It's the blade, for me, that pushes on the foot of the pad. And I cannot in good conscience say, yeah, you know, 
He really just p stuffed that puck in the net. He's pushing the pad as well and turning the goaltender. So at the end of the day, I'd say no goal. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like. It really does help us out. And comment down below your thoughts on this, uh, on this goal or no goal. And be sure to watch the original footage. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Connor, you'll spend your time for Connor and Fred.